this year and beyond are like a treasure trove for hack and slash fans with a plethora of exciting releases on the horizon. While waiting for these upcoming games, let me treat you to a lineup of 15 phenomenal hack and slash titles that you can dive into right away. Let's kick off with Katana Zero, a standout 2D hack and slash adventure packed with instant death action. Its gripping storyline, coupled with stellar music, keeps players hooked. Combat strikes a satisfying balance, offering a challenge without becoming overly vexing. Mastering the art of slowing down time to deflect bullets and swiftly dispatch foes with a single stroke feels immensely rewarding. The narrative weaves a mysterious and tragic tale, leaving players yearning for more. Though it may feel like it ends too soon, fear not. Free DLC is on the horizon, promising to uphold the game's exceptional writing standards. And let's not forget the soundtrack, truly top-notch, enhancing the game's mood and tone impeccably. While it may be brief and lacking a wholly fulfilling conclusion for now, Katana Zero is undoubtedly a worthwhile journey. Next in line is Mord Howe, a tough, violent, and visually stunning multiplayer medieval hack and slash fighting game developed by the independent Slovenian studio Triturnian. Armed with an array of weapons and tools, you're swiftly introduced to the basics before being thrust into online warfare against other players. Whether storming a castle or defending it, Mordhau's combat is remarkably fluid and functional, allowing skilled players to dominate until a well-timed strike disrupts their flow. Matches oscillate between chaotic and tense, offering a plethora of playstyles. From wielding massive swords to launching arrows from afar, or even dabbling in engineering, the game grants you ample freedom. However, delving into the engineering toolkit might not yield many points. Despite its strengths, Mortau can stumble due to its community, where server chat often devolves into toxicity. Up next is Devil May Cry 5, an essential addition to any hack and slash game list. With its stunning visual presentation and highly acclaimed combat system, Devil May Cry 5 stands as a near perfect example of action packed gameplay. The developers poured their energy into delivering a constant stream of exhilarating, over-the-top battles that challenge players to execute the most stylish combos possible. The result is a game that maintains a breakneck pace and never loses momentum. From start to finish, Devil May Cry 5 keeps players on the edge of their seats, making it arguably one of the best entries in the series to date. Next up is Grim Dawn Definitive Edition, a gem of a game tailored for fans of hack and slash action RPGs. Despite its somewhat basic technical aspects, Grim Dawn Definitive Edition stands out as richer than many of its counterparts. Its class system allows players to freely combine classes, while the devotion system opens up a plethora of possibilities, making it a paradise for theory crafters and optimization enthusiasts. Playing with a controller is a sheer delight, and both exploration and combat are consistently rewarded with a bounty of loot. However, the game's forgettable musical backdrop fails to complement the action, preventing it from attaining the highest echelons of the genre. Nevertheless, Grim Dawn Definitive Edition strikes a balance, being more accessible than Path of Exile, yet delivering a more intense experience than Diablo II Resurrected, making it a must-play for hack and slash fans. Next in line is Going Under, a game that ingeniously merges the hack and slash roguelite genre with an irreverent and sarcastic setting. In this quirky adventure, you assume the role of an unpaid intern navigating the dystopian city of Neo Cascadia. Armed with office junk as weaponry, you'll delve into offbeat procedural dungeons beneath your company campus. The game offers frenetic and immediate action with a satisfying level of difficulty that never veers into frustration. Coupled with a delightfully original storyline, Going Under offers a refreshing departure from the typical dungeon crawling tropes of rescuing princesses or retrieving cursed artifacts. It's a must play for fans of the genre and comes highly recommended for those seeking an action packed experience that will have you laughing between each kill. Up next, we have Persona 5 Strikers, 
a masterfully crafted fusion of hack and slash Dynasty Warriors style gameplay with the beloved characters and systems of Persona 5. This title delivers a compelling narrative while remaining faithful to the essence of both franchises. The mechanics of the hack and slash genre seamlessly integrate into the Persona universe, offering intense, challenging, and engaging combat encounters. While the game doesn't introduce anything groundbreaking, it does promise a thrilling experience. In terms of narrative, Persona 5 Strikers delivers exactly what fans would expect from a Persona game, addressing important and contemporary themes with a lighthearted tone that's easily accessible. However, it's regrettable that the social component, so well executed in its predecessor, is absent in this installment. Up next is Chivalry 2, tailor-made for those seeking a delightfully chaotic romp through romanticized medieval battlefields. While it may take some time to grasp the intricacies, once you've mastered the basics, you're in for an exhilarating ride filled with unexpected moments, courtesy of both the game and its vibrant community. Remarkably, Chivalry 2 manages to remain accessible to players of all skill levels, whether you're a seasoned duelist or a newcomer. Its graphical prowess is commendable, though some details could benefit from additional polish. Nonetheless, for an arcade-style hack-and-slash fighting game, the visuals are more than sufficient to immerse yourself fully in the heat of battle after just a few skirmishes. Next up is Timesia, a hack-and-slash and somewhat Souls-like themed game developed by Overborder Studio and Team 17. Initially, I had low expectations after trying the demo, but to my surprise, the full release is much more polished and fleshed out. Overborder Studio diligently listened to player feedback, resulting in a game that stands out amidst a sea of Soulsborne clones. Timesia's aggressive combat loop robust plague weapon system, and dual health mechanic provide just enough flavor to differentiate it. However, the two parry options, requiring near-perfect timing yet offering little reward, are in dire need of rework. Nevertheless, Timesia serves as a janky yet heartfelt tribute to its big brother, Bloodborne. Next on the list is Achilles Legends Untold offering a compelling blend of RPG elements with hack-and-slash action reminiscent of Diablo. Along with elements akin to Souls-like games where every checkpoint feels like a significant achievement, the game boasts a diverse array of weapons, each with its own unique characteristics and combat styles, encouraging experimentation simply to witness the protagonist's animations as they decimate enemies. Set in Greek mythology, the storyline naturally captivates. While the combat proves enjoyable, despite occasional surprises from enemies appearing abruptly due to the absence of Zoom. While Achilles Legends Untold lacks traditional classes, players can craft vastly different builds, adding depth to the gameplay experience. Continuing down the list, we have Ghost Runner 2, another captivating cyberpunk-themed hack-and-slash game worth exploring. Much like its predecessor, the sequel holds its ground admirably. The action remains razor-sharp from the get-go, with precise movement and combat that feels immensely rewarding once mastered. Tweaks to existing mechanics and the introduction of new moves prevent the experience from feeling like mere repetition of its predecessor. However, the more open desert wasteland areas may feel overly liberating and various inconsistencies can detract from the experience for seasoned players. Nevertheless, Ghost Runner 2 offers satisfying gameplay for those seeking quick bursts of well-executed playthroughs. Next in line is Diablo 4, undeniably the true successor to the second game, reviving the franchise's dark, gothic essence with a gripping narrative and vivid characters. The gameplay remains as addictive as ever, and the extensive campaign is just the beginning of a vast array of content awaiting exploration. While Blizzard continues to steer Diablo's design towards MMORPG-style multiplayer and co-op experiences, solo players will find plenty of enjoyment, even if some boss encounters are more enjoyable with friends. With exceptional production values, compelling characters, and exhilarating combat, Diablo 4 stands as a pinnacle of the genre, offering an experience that's as good as it gets. 
Up next is Blasphemous 2, a beautifully crafted and deeply engaging hack and slash Souls-like that excels in every aspect of its ambitious design. Building upon the solid foundation of its well-received predecessor, Blasphemous 2 introduces improvements across the board. Combat has been refined for faster, smoother, and more precise action, while adjustments to platforming mechanics reduce instances of insta-death, resulting in a more manageable experience. Furthermore, the game is brimming with secrets and collectibles, enriching the exploration aspect. With meticulous attention to detail in its presentation and a high level of polish throughout, Blasphemous 2 promises to be a remarkably memorable experience that players will cherish for years to come. Next on our list is Raven's Watch, a top-down roguelike hack-and-slash game that seamlessly blends intense time-based combat with procedurally generated worlds. Much like Supergiant's Hades, Raven's Watch kicks off its journey as an early access title, providing an ideal platform to refine its core mechanics and expand upon its fantasy universe. With plans for new characters and gameplay updates post-early access launch, Past Tech Games holds immense promise for the future of RPG gaming. Their solid initial efforts have laid a strong foundation, and the prospect of witnessing the evolution of Raven's Watch's world and gameplay fills me with excitement for what lies ahead. Up next is Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, a nearly flawless game that serves as an enticing introduction to its captivating world. Much like the challenging gameplay of titles such as Sekiro and Neo, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty demands perseverance, creativity, and, let's face it, sharp timing and reflexes from players. In many respects, it adheres to the traditional Souls-like formula, offering the familiar blend of challenges and rewards inherent to the genre. However, where Wo Long truly shines is in its innovative mechanics and their seamless integration into every encounter. While some moments and battles may appear daunting at first glance, Finding a way around, through, or over them is always engaging. Wolong manages to pay homage to the genre while also pushing its boundaries in an exciting new direction. To wrap up our game list, we have Last Epoch, which officially launched in February 2024 after spending several years in early access since 2019. Last Epoch serves as the perfect alternative for those disappointed by Diablo 4 and patiently awaiting the release of Path of Exile 2. After four years of fine-tuning and community feedback during its early access phase, 11th Hour Games has delivered another exceptional hack-and-slash experience. With a plethora of endgame content and thousands of items to collect, Last Epoch offers an engaging campaign, though one that may not be entirely memorable. Nevertheless, the game is sure to captivate players for dozens of hours, catering to both veterans and newcomers to the genre, even if it's not quite as accessible as Diablo 4. And that's it! Which of these titles are you giving a shot? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video!